Here we have my Heathkit DX60B AM and CW transmitter. It's all valve, and I do plan on selling it. Um, I've been working on it a wee bit. When I first got it, it wasn't tuning up properly, and I discovered that um, the loading capacitor, the uh, couple of the plates were rubbing together. So around about here, it, the yeah, the it wouldn't get into resonance at all. So um, I fixed that, replaced a couple of uh, capacitors in it, mainly in the bias and the audio preamp circuit. Um, the main filter capacitors seem to be fine. I brought them up onto Variax. I didn't change them. It's in pretty good um, physical condition and cosmetic condition. It's all nice and shiny, as you can see. But more than that, I've got the HG10 VFO, slightly older, not as pretty as the main transmitter. It's um, missing a few screws on the front, on the side, but it works, and that's the important thing. I'm going to be selling these as a pair. A couple of little modifications I made. The uh, SO239 antenna socket instead of the RCA, because, well, don't want RCAs for your antennas because it sucks. Um, the VFO input I put as a um, BNC. Um, it used to be an RCA as well, but that's all well and good because the RF output on the VFO is a BNC as well. So there it is from the back. Oh yeah, another thing I did. Um, I actually jumped the transformer for 240 volts as opposed to the 120 of the US. So don't really have to do anything, don't need a step down transformer or anything to run it here in Australia and that's the important thing, less work for you I did all the hard stuff to make life easy also another thing, um, as you notice, proper earth didn't, originally didn't have an earth so, you know, got to keep it safe you want the user experience to be pleasant electrocution isn't pleasant, so let's try and avoid that, shall we? anyway, I'm going to set this little SOB up and um, give you a bit of a demonstration to show you that it works. Okay, another thing that I must mention before I forget, the VFO comes with the original manual. A bit shabby, but does the job. Um, the transmitter comes with a photocopy. I don't have it here to show you, but figured best be honest. Let you know what you're getting for your money. Alrighty, so I'll tune this up and give you a demo. So here we are all tuned up, just to show you. Just over, just under 150 milliamps, puts at about 50 watts on CW. Just using my little Yasu there, just as a side tone. Alright, let's try it on AM mode. Alright, here we are in AM mode. Still on, still on, see we're still on. Alright. Um, don't have a crystal mic so I'm relying upon the um, iPod with the um, Okay, so uh, let's give it a shot, shall we? Just a bit of Pink Floyd, because I ain't got anything else. I'm sort of addicted to this album at the moment. I'm um, just talking over it, so um, as to avoid any copyright infringement. Um, I don't know why they do these things, but, you know, I'm just promoting a good album over here. And um, also promoting the fact that um, this thing works, although probably a bit distorted on the yay, so I'm overdriving it perhaps, but hell, you know. It's AM, look at that, AM, and it works, and it could be yours um, when I decide to sell it, although I'm waiting on a, on a Johnson Ranger to arrive, hence the reason I'm getting rid of this, to justify the purchase of another transmitter, so be it. Anywho, enough Floyd. Enough of me, this is Emil, VK3NAF, November Alpha Foxtrot, that is, NAF. And this is certainly not NAF, it's a good transmitter and a good VFO. See ya.